I came into this world unwanted, dropped off at a monastery without a single thing, not even a name. The people there were nice enough to me. They gave me the name Lucia after the eternal blue teachings. I had a special gift for magic and the healing arts. At this monastery, it was custom to train people as soon as we could speak, and with my gift, I excelled. Top of my class, and slightly cocky to boot. I was put in my place when I did cross the line. A quick ruler to the back of the head would put you there. After 20 years of training on the verge of my 21st birthday, I was just about ready to head into the world. But first, I had to prove myself ready. I was. Marshal McBride, the commander of the monastery, has a task for me. The Black Rock Orcs have bypassed security with their wargs, and McBride wanted me to wipe them out. Simple enough. I go into their area and make quick work of them. I do so and make my way back to McBride. Apparently, there are Black Rock Orcs spying on us, waiting for their moment to attack. The Marshal wants none of that, so I am sent to take the fight to them. I run rampant, killing tons of them. They are no match for my magic skills, and I make quick work of them. I sense a pattern here. Back to McBride. Marshal McBride thanks me for the work I've done, and wants me to report to Sergeant Willem. The orcs have hired goblin assassins, and have ambushed the squad. Willem is understandably pissed, and wants me to take out the assassins, and show the orcs we aren't ones to be messed with. Before I leave, I see Brother Paxton. He wants to know if I have embraced the holy light. He gives me the prayer book, and I am off to heal soldiers that have fallen on the battlefield. I reported back to Brother Paxton and told him of all the people I helped out. And then I told Sergeant Willem that I made the assassins pay for what they did to our people. All of a sudden, I smell a thick black smoke and see dark clouds above. I rush to Marshal McBride and ask what's going on. McBride tells me the orcs are burning our lands and stealing weapons. Without a second thought, I make my way to put out the fires with a backpack water contraption made by our engineers. This time I'll interrogate an orc and see who is behind all of this. The air was as thick as it gets. My lungs growing weaker with each breath. But I had people to save, and so I pushed on. As I killed more and more orcs, I was picking up the weapons they had stolen from us. Finally, at last, I was done. One more thing to do. Find out who was behind all of this. I picked out the weakest looking orc and started using my spells on him. One giant holy swing, and one medium damage over time to keep him weak. I threatened to sew his asshole shut, and as I suspected, he didn't last very long. The name was out there, Kurtok the Slayer, and even his location. Let's go see the Slayer. The fight was on, and I wasn't alone. It was an uneven match, but we both ended up pulling through. Kurtok got some good hits in. Serves me right for not sticking to range. I put all of my energy into one final blast, and off the blast went. Brighter, stronger than usual. Kurtok would be no more. That would be all. Off I went to see what McBride needed of me next. My tests at the monastery were complete. I was now ready to go out on my own. McBride told me to go to Goldshire. There would be tons of people there, and that I may now forge my own path. After saying all of my goodbyes, off I went. My adventure was just beginning. <laughs>